Shalom, Chevre. This is Richard Solomon, and this is the sixth week of our class and the sixth YouTube video that we made relative to the skills in this class. You will recall that last week we actually made it this YouTube, which I'll be copying right now, and on this YouTube, we demonstrated how to screen share, send a file, send a web address or URL, and create contacts all through using Skype. But this week, we're going to focus on Facebook, sending text messages, a video or a URL, engaging in a video call or a text conversation with someone, how to start a private group on Facebook and invite people to join that group, learning how to delete a group, a new group on Facebook, learn how to join an existing group on Facebook, and also learn how to block a person on Facebook so you needn't have to interact with them. So, let's get to my Facebook page, which is right over here. And let's say, for example, I wanted to have a conversation with Miriam, a colleague of mine, okay? And if I wanted to post a message, I could say, Miriam, I'd like to share this URL, a YouTube, I recently Recent eight, and I would paste that, and sure enough, we are demonstrating how to post a message, how to share a URL, and how to share a video through using Facebook. All I would need to do is to click post. And Miriam would receive my message, the URL, and the YouTube. But today, we are going to do something a little bit more sophisticated. What we're going to do is we are going to this particular page, and I am going to engage in a conversation with Elaine Solomon. Okay, so we go to the search box over here, write Elaine Solomon's name in, and we click on her name, and we'll be able to engage in a text chat or a video chat with her. We know that she is on Facebook right now because we see the green light is on. So let's click on this, and let's ask Elaine a complicated question that question in the chat box. How is teaching online similar or different from teaching in a face-to-face -face classroom? So let me pose that question to Elaine and see what she says. Now, once again, notice what we did. We placed Elaine's name in the search box. It found Elaine as one of my contacts. And we then wrote a message in the chat box. We could have started a video conference by clicking here, and we could terminate the conversation by clicking here. And as we see, Elaine is writing her message right now to the question, how is teaching online similar or different from teaching in a face-to-face -face classroom? Hmm. She wrote, that question is too complicated to answer in a chat box. 
Let's discuss it at another time. So I'll say, okay, let's discuss the question, question via a video chat on Facebook. Okay? So, what we do now is we start a call with Elaine by clicking this icon. And we are contacting Elaine. Now, if Elaine did not have the plugin, she would have to get the plugin so that we could uh, engage in a conversation. The plugin is very simple to get. All you need to do is just uh, click on an icon and ask for the plugin. But let's see, is he. Elaine, do you hear me? Yes, I do. Oh, so you actually heard the little chatter I was uh, engaged in. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's get to the question that uh, you said was too complicated to answer in the chat box. And uh, so what's your answer to the question about teaching online or and teaching in a face-to-face -face classroom? Working with one other person online is not difficult at all. However, when you get to a class of, let's say, 15 or 20 people, and one person asks a question, and not everyone in the class is interested in whatever that particular item is, one tends to lose people at that time. And things just become much more difficult, so that I... Although I know right now by seeing your picture there that you are listening to me, I cannot see the other 19 people in the class to see whether they have started to check their email or anything else. So I find that uh, it becomes much more difficult to teach a larger class online. All right. Well, thank you so much for your answer. And this was simply a demonstration of how you engage in a video conversation. And if we want to terminate, I simply click on this red button. And let me thank you for your answer, and I'll terminate the conversation right now. Thank you so much, Lane. Um. All right. So what we have done is we have demonstrated how to send a text message a video or a URL on Facebook and how to engage in a chat or a video call. And now we're going to look at how do you go and uh, set up a private group on Facebook. All right, let's demonstrate that. So here we are on uh, my Facebook page as well. Okay, and you see over here where it says create a group? I'm going to click on create a group, and I'm going to give the name of that group, we'll call this uh, make it simple, we'll just call new group on Facebook demonstration. Okay, and who might I want to be in this group? I might want Elaine to be in this group, so I click on Elaine. I might want Katrina to be on this group, so I click on Katrina. And here are my privacy settings. Let's say I want this to be a secret group, so only the three of us would engage in this. So this is quite a private uh, group, and we create it. And sure enough, we have created a new group on Facebook called New Group on Facebook. And there are three people in this particular group. Here are the group people, Elaine and uh, Katrina, which we just created. Okay, so let's show a couple things. If someone wanted to leave this group, all they would do is click on this icon over here in this arrow. And you click leave on group and you would leave the group. If you wanted to chat with the group, you could 
click here, create an event to here, etc. Okay, but here's the most interesting thing. Let's say you started a group, but you want to disband the group. So you see where it says three members over here? Let's click on that. And I can terminate the group by actually removing the participants. So you see where it says Katrina Way? I can hit remove and confirm. And Katrina is no longer there. If we wanted to remove Elaine from the group, we click here and we hit confirm. And now only I am in the group. And if we wanted to remove me from the group and disband the group entirely and delete the group, we click over here. So you found out how to create a group and how to uh, terminate a group. Now, how do you join a group? Okay, well, you just like when you go and you invite someone to join a group or you invite someone to be on your uh, friend on Facebook, you go to the search box. And let's say I want to join a group called Jewish Artists. Okay? Jewish Artists. Which is uh, a group. And I click on that. And if I want to jo join this group, I simply would click on Ask to Join the Group. And if they invited me to join the group, then they would send me a message and I would be a member of that group. So again, all you have to do is write the name of a possible group you'd like to join, see if there is such a group on Facebook, and ask to be invited. Now, the last thing we wanted to do is we wanted to show how do you how do you block someone. What you do is you go to your privacy settings. You see, I click from home. Privacy settings. All right. And I go down here where it says block people and apps. And I click on managing manage blocking, and all I do is I write the person's name here, and I give his or her email address, and click on this, and I have blocked them. Okay, so you go to privacy settings, right, and then you, after you get to privacy settings, you go to manage blocking, and you place their name and their email address, and you will block them so you no longer have to interact with them on Facebook. So let's take a look at what we have done today. We have indicated that in a previous video on YouTube, we went over a variety of different skills with regard to the use of Skype. And today we concentrated on Facebook and showed how to text someone, share a video or a URL, engage in a video conversation and also how to chat, how to start a private group on Facebook, and also how to uh, delete a new group that you just created on Facebook, how to join a group on Facebook. Remember we showed you how to join the group on artists who are Jewish, and we also learned how to block a person on Facebook. It's been a pleasure doing this for you. We hope it was helpful.